Now to the investigation of the head of Chicago Public Schools. And tonight we obtained the Inspector General's report on Forrest Claypool. And we've learned he wants Claypool fired. More now from CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely. After a 14 month investigation, CPS Inspector General Nicholas Schuler says he had no choice but to recommend that school CEO Forrest Claypool be fired. Any other line employee with this much evidence against them uh, regarding lies in two different interviews would be fired. There would be no question about it. So I don't think there could be any lesser standard for the CEO. At the heart of the probe, Claypool's defense of Ronald Marmer, the top CPS attorney. Marmer managed legal work provided by Jenner and Block, even though Marmer used to work for that firm and was still receiving payments from them. Six attorneys, four inside CPS and two outside, all called that a conflict of interest, an ethics violation. But Schuler says Claypool was so desperate to hide those opinions from the school board, he changed the bill from one of the outside attorneys and then lied about it. Administratively, it's, you cannot lie to the IG and keep your job. Today, Mayor Emanuel defended Claypool, saying his only interest was helping CPS students. His actions were on behalf of getting fair funding from a state that for decades have not had fair funding for the children of the city of Chicago. And in a statement late today, Claypool also says his zealousness led to errors. I have fully acknowledged my mistakes in judgment and apologized. I apologize again today. But that defense won't fly with Schuler. The ends don't justify the means. It just simply can't be the message that, you know, lies of the lies in official investigations are acceptable. So, Derek, what happens next? Well, Erica, the school board says it's carefully considering the report, but no action as yet. Meantime, at least two fellow Democrats, both with links to Mayor Emanuel, both now candidates for attorney general, Jesse Ruiz and Sharon Fairley, are already calling for Claypool to go. Ultimately, what determines whether Claypool survives may be how much political heat this report triggers. All right, Derek, thank you.